this uh, video lecture we will uh, uh, talk about the pointer variables we are so far we have seen just variables right the uh, the variables has let's take a variable let's say x is equal to 100 and uh, so what it has is this is a memory location let's say the memory location is some 4460 and we name that memory location a, a, we just given name as x because we will not be able to deal with addresses and uh, it has a data inside right we know that we know the data is uh, inside is 100 and uh, we cannot change the x point to something else okay let's say 4464 four. we cannot change the memory look uh, the location where x is pointing to x is now fixed to this memory location okay and uh, if you want the x to point to 4464 four, that is not possible and uh, that's why we have pointer variables okay pointer variables uh, they they do not uh, they are different from uh, regular variables okay and uh, let's take here when I say pointer variable let's say pointer point a pointer variable is much similar to uh, the variables that we have been uh, studying pointer variables actually the distinction is pointer variables don't store data they store the address for instance let's say x is 100 like we talked and the address is let's say 4460 the the pointer variable is also it's a variable let's say this memory location is 49900 4900 and uh, this one doesn't store the data that that you and I deal with it stores the address of some other variable let's say 4460 you store the address in here so remember that whenever we talk about pointer variables they always store the address of some other memory location okay they always store the address of some other location okay and uh, that address you just like the way you change x is from 100 set to say 400 you can change that 4460 to 4466 let's say there's another address in here let's say 4466 you can say change from oops change from 4460 to 4466 we can easily change it okay and now this pointer variable is pointing to this memory location not that when we when we change 4460 back now this pointer variable is not pointing here it's actually pointing in here so depending upon uh, the memory locations that you are dealing with let's say this is four four six eight you, you can keep changing this data according to your application okay so that's all about pointer variables 
So pointers do not store the actual data, but instead store the memory location. Uh, just like I showed you, uh, let's pretend 4463 is the address of this variable integer x and we store 10 in here. Uh, so how do we get the address of x to store in the pointer variable? How do we get 4460? The syntax for that, as we have seen in uh, scanf, right? We have used scanf function for uh, we always send address, right? That is the address we are now talking about. Come back here. So the ampersand x means the address of x. Address here is 4463 and ampersand x equals in this example 4463. So ampersand x in this case gives the address of the variable and uh, just x will get you the value. And uh, the syntax for uh, declaring a pointer variable is int asterisk. Okay. This it declares that variable pointer ptr is of type is a pointer of type integer. And uh, pointer variables can also be declared like in here char pointer in this case it is a pointer p of type char. You can also declare float so in this case it is a pointer of type float and this one points to again the address it does not store the floating value remember that and here char. Yeah. Simple. And uh, so as integer asterisk or characters asterisk is the notation to indicate that we are declaring a pointer variable. We, we uh, again now we are, as we discussed pointer does not store ordinary data but stores the address of another array. And uh, like also we talked pointer itself has a memory location but it contains address yeah it is no is like we did when we say integer pointer and uh, this pointer itself has a memory location some let us say 4990 so some address random address we are giving and uh, so that is the point itself has a address and uh, it stores the address of some other variable. And uh, now, how do I assign? How do I assign uh, a address of a variable to the pointer? We know this is. Then let's say we call integer x. Let's say twenty. Okay. So this itself has address. Let's say four four six zero, and here we store twenty. And when we say, like in the PowerPoint, pointer equal to ampersand x. What we are mentioning here now is take the address of x, right? Pointer equal 
ampersand x right what we are saying now is take the address which is 4463 right this is 4463 4463 and store it in the pointer remember that it only stores the address okay if you were to say pointer equal to x it will crash okay because this location is address some 20 near the cpu uh, near in the ram and you don't have access to that those only access 20 is access to the drivers and uh, cpu you don't have access to that so uh, this is wrong okay so a lot of uh, beginners do this mistake so pointers always require the address okay to store the address of other variables so that's what this ex slide talks like we talked it's a uh, address of x if address is 4463 pointer will store 4463 the address of x doesn't store the data and a similar example again integer y equal to 28 pointer equal to ampersand y and uh, it stores the address of y into pointer yeah in this example here uh, integer x equal to 10 y equal to 28 and pointer at we are declared a pointer so 4463 for x 4464 for y i mean just pretend uh, the address okay random address it's n and uh, the value is 28 and uh, pointer itself has an address like we talked 4465 Um, as a now that location is empty right now, we don't have uh, assignment for the pointer, so that memory location is empty. Now, now as soon as you say pointer equal to ampersand x, what we are saying is store the address four four six three into that memory location. So as soon as this the CPU executes this statement, it stores four four six three into this pointer and similarly as soon as it executes pointer equal to ampersand y it will change the value in here okay so at any moment of time when you have a pointer you should always remember it stores the address okay the syntax of pointers a little uh, i would say very not a friendly to a lot of programmers um, even experienced programmers uh, they sometimes fumble and uh, they sometimes fix with a trial and error but uh, if you get the concepts correct uh, it should be easy okay like we talked for for it this is a logical diagram uh, there's no so like here as soon as we do this one it now pointer is pointing to x right and uh, pointer equal to ampersand y now when we say that it's now pointing to uh, y going back to the previous slide pointer equal to ampersand x means now it's pointing to x we have the 4463 in here as soon as it executes that statement the pointer now pointing to this memory location remember that it's pointing to the address it's not pointing to the data and uh, this is uh, one thing that's illegal ampersand x equal to pointer 
and you have to know why because as we talked in slide number 2 we cannot change the address of x uh, in this example right we cannot change the address if x is pointing to 4460 you can't tell x point to something else 4800 you cannot do that right so that's why you cannot store the address to change the address of x. So, this is illegal. So, so far what we have seen is you are only fetching the address of another variable into our pointers. We only are fetching so far. That's we we not looked into we are only fetching the address of a variable and we stored in in the pointer that is all we did so far in a pointer ok variable and uh, the next uh, couple of uh, slides we will talk about how do we access the data ok in this case for instance uh, we can go back to the previous slide yeah in this case yes we have seen how to store the address now how do I get the value of 28 from my pointer is the next uh, topic we are going to talk about ok. I will pause the video and get back to the in the next video we will talk about this.